Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we started setting up our user class. We're going to continue right where we left off in the last lesson. I'm just going to clean up this uh, console log over here and this user that we instantiated. I'm going to remove the, the user that we put in there and just making sure service still running and that's looking good. And now to continue on with our user class, I want to add some methods onto this class that we can use uh, down the line when we referencing this user class. And so there's one method that I want to use. I want to set up a save method or a save function here. And what this is going to do is save the user to the database. And so for now, we actually don't have a database connected or no way to actually persist this um, data to a file or anything like that. So for now, what I'm going to do is just uh, use a console log here. And we're going to say successfully saved user and then I'll use some string interpolation here and we'll reference this dot ID to get the ID of the user so it'll say successfully saved user ID to the database and that's all we'll do for now there's a second one a, a method that I want to use uh, find a user with the given ID all right and this will be a simple find and it'll have an argument or parameter of ID which we'll uh, pass through an argument of uh, uh, that 36 character string. And for now, we're just going to return an empty string because at this stage, we don't, like I said, we don't have the database set up. I just wanted to get this in while we work in our user class and we'll come and amend this once we've got our database layer sorted out in this project. And so what this is going to allow us to do is if we want to reference a new user like we did before, we can do things like a user.save and then just invoke that function. Or we could do a user.find, and then we can pass in an ID over here, whatever that's gonna be. So that's what we're kind of aiming for there. At the moment, they're just um, dummy functions for now. And so we need to start thinking about the next functions that I wanna to add to this class. And now what I wanna do is set up a few functions that will allow us to actually uh, set the values of this user that we've initialized in our constructor. And we can use that as an opportunity to do some validation and sanitization of any values that are coming through from the API. So let's just get started and I'll try and explain this as we go along. The first function we're going to set up is called set first name. And this is going to take in a first name argument. And in the body of this function, we want to start thinking about what logic we actually want to implement here. So I'm going to set up a try catch block and I'm going to catch any error that does occur and we'll just throw a new error and then we'll just reference that error that comes through. So what I want to do here is say this dot name dot first is equal to first name. However, I want to make sure that the, the value that's coming through here has actually got a value in it number one is only of type string and there's a few different things that i want to make sure that we putting in clean data into our database when we actually save it so in this step like even before the database just on the actual class that we're referencing so before we actually get there we want to do a few things i'm going to set up an if statement here and we're going to say if first name and then we can do something with that and I'll just leave a comment here. We'll be, we'll say, um, do any sanitization that we need to. And so the way we're going to do this is I'm just going to say first name is first name. And then I'm going to call the trim function. And what this is going to do, it's going to delete any white space on the beginning or the end of that name. And then I'm just going to tack on another JavaScript method here called replace. And now I'm going to use a regex expression just to replace any white space that there is inside of this name. And so we're going to set this up. This regex expression is going to um, look for any white space here and it's just going to replace it with no space. Once we've done that sanitization, the first name that comes out of here should be nice and clean. And so now the next thing I want to do is do some validation and make sure that the first name is of type string um, and so that we don't have any numbers or anything like that. And so instead of using a regular expression in this case, what I want to do is actually leverage an NPM package here. And so let's go ahead and set that up. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit Control C on our server. But before we actually implement that validate.js um, package, let's take a short break here and we'll pick it up in the next lesson.